Today, America is deeply divided over immigration policy. Many people worry that immigrants will take their jobs, challenge their culture, or change their community. Others want to punish those who fled poverty or oppression in their native countries and came to the U.S. outside the legal system. I join Mayor Bloomberg in organizing <coughs> the Partnership for a New American Economy because I believe that all Americans should have a vital interest in fixing our broken immigration system so we can continue to compete in the 21st century global economy. While supporting complete and proper closure of all our borders to future illegal immigrants, our partnership advocates reform that gives a path to citizenship for responsible, law-abiding immigrants who are in the U.S. today without proper authority. It is nonsense to talk of expelling 11 or 12 million people. Not only is it impractical, it is cost prohibitive. A study this year put the price of mass deportation at $285 billion over five years. There are better ways to spend our money. We need to do more to secure our borders. We can and should add more people, technology, and resources to ensuring that we have control over who comes into this country. But I worry that spending alone will not stop the flow of illegal immigrants. A full path to legalization requiring unauthorized immigrants to register, undergo a security check, pay taxes, and learn English would bring these immigrants out of a shadow economy and add to our tax base. According to one study, a path to legalization would contribute an estimated $1.5 trillion to <coughs> to the gross domestic product over 10 years. We are desperately in need of improving our country's human capital. We want to bring an end to the arbitrary immigration and visa quotas that make it impossible to fill the labor and skilled needs of our country. You and Mr. Bloomberg have the possibility of doing a lot of education. You're very powerful uh, with your um, media networks and you're able to disseminate a lot of information and to frame issues. And for Mr. Murdoch, uh, it does not appear that what you are talking to us about today and the way that you're discussing it is the way that is discussed on Fox, uh, uh, for example. Why are you here with a basically decent proposal talking about the advantage of immigrants to our economy, but I don't see that being promoted on Fox. As a matter of fact, I'm oftentimes stunned by what I hear on Fox, particularly when you have hosts talking about anchor babies and all of that. Explain to me, what's the difference in your being here and what you do not do uh, with your media network? I can't hear you. Uh, could you turn your microphone on, please? Thank you. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, we uh, are home to all views on Fox. Uh, if you wish to come and state these views, we'd love to have you on Fox News. No, I don't want to be on. Uh, That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... We don't, we don't censor that or take any particular line at all. We are not anti-immigrant on Fox News. What do you do to promote the same views that you're here talking with us about? How do you Don't do, you do that? We do it in the Wall Street Journal every day. I beg your pardon? We do it in the Wall Street Journal every not, day. Not really. Post. Not really. I can't. Hmm? Well, let me also say that Rupert is one of the founders of our coalition of mayors and business people to encourage Congress to give us comprehensive immigration reform so that we can get the people that we need to create the jobs that are American. Mr. Mayor, let me, I, I appreciate that, and that's why I started out by saying I'm very grateful that you guys are here and what you're saying, but I'm trying to point out the contradiction between Mr. Murdoch being here, saying these wonderful things about immigration reform and the contribution that immigrants make to our economy and our society, and I don't see you promoting that in any way with all of the power and ability that you have to do that. And I'm trying to find out what is the difference? What is the contradiction? Why don't you use your power to help us to promote what you're talking about? Well, 
I would say that we do, uh, with respect. We certainly employ a lot of immigrants in Fox, uh, and uh, in, all, in all arms of Fox, but you're talking about Fox News, we have many immigrants there, and we do not take any consistent anti-immigrant uh, line. Uh, we, we have certainly debates about it from both sides.